Finding an old car can be difficult if you are looking for something in particular. Most of the old classic cars have ended up in junkyards and have been crushed or scrapped for metal, and over the years finding old cars is nearly impossible. But that doesn't mean that somewhere hiding in some old garage or barn isn't the automotive find of the century. You won't believe the cars that have been stored away and forgotten and have been frozen in time. Check out these 10 most incredible barn find cars ever discovered, and don't forget to watch till the end for something special. Prototype Aston Martin DB5 James Bond movies usually had an Aston Martin or two in them, and many might instantly recognize this car from the movie Goldfinger. The regular production DB5 is a valuable car in itself, but finding a prototype is something completely different altogether. A prototype DB5 was recently found rusting, in pieces, and abandoned in a shed, but that didn't deter its eventual buyer, who bought essentially half a car and spare parts for a cool $580,000. Its owner, Neville Albert Rees, bought it slightly damaged in 1962, did it up, then he and his wife used it as a runabout until 1982, when it dropped a valve and developed a misfire. Intending to fix it one day, he pushed it into a corrugated tin cow shed on his farm, where it stood protected only by a pile of rubbish on top of it for nearly 25 years. Mercedes-Benz W196 Formula One car Okay, so this was technically a warehouse find, but it falls under the same category as a barn find, and it's remarkably awesome. The Mercedes-Benz race car piloted by racing legend Juan Manuel Fangio to victory in both the 1954 German and Swiss Grand Prix. The car has chassis number 00006-54 and is powered by a 2.5-liter straight-eight engine. Bonhams, the folks who are putting it up for auction, says that this particular car was the first open-wheeled, slipper-body post-war Mercedes to ever win a post-war Formula One race. If that's somehow not cool enough for you, it was driven by Fangio, a guy who's on every shortlist ever for the greatest racing driver of all time. Ferrari 250 GT California Spider SWB This car sat in a grass field in Ohio between 1972 till 1986. A collector rescued it in the 1980s before it was sold on to its current Swiss owner, who then restored it to its former glory. Chassis 3589 GT is one of only a handful of 25 GTOs in right-hand drive configuration, and the car was raced in the UK and the Bahamas. It was retired after just two years of competition in 1964. To give you an idea of how much this rare car is worth, a sister GTO sold in recent years for around $38 million. Ferrari made just 56 examples of the 250 GT SWB California Spiders, making it one of the rarest cars in the world. Mercedes-Benz 190 SL This wonderful, time-warped 1960 Mercedes-Benz 190 SL was found in an old garage. The 57-year-old classic sports roadster was discovered by Mark Bryan of h, &H Classics Motorcycle Department when he was on a mission to value bikes for sale. Classic does not get any more authentic than with the 1960 Mercedes-Benz 190 SL. Designed for speed, the car is a classic roadster with a top speed of 175 km per hour. It is capable of accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in 11 seconds and has 120 base horsepower. Featuring two doors, an open body, and a long sleek bonnet, the 190SL is all about luxury and elegance. The interior is simple yet elegant with plush seats and a neat dashboard. The model was a big hit in the USA, where many of the vehicles were produced between 1955 and 1963. 1970 Chevelle SS This car is every American muscle car collector's dream. It has been sitting in a barn since 1978, when the original owner bought the car where it stayed, totally original. But the story doesn't end there. The person who bought the car found it on Craigslist somehow and decided to resell it for a bit more money. The new owner rebuilt the carburetor and then took it to the track with its original convertible top, factory engine, AM radio and all, and ran a quarter mile at 14.66 at 93 miles per hour after it had been sitting in a barn for over 15 years. Ferrari 166MM If you see one of these cars, the chances are good that it is probably a replica. The reason for that is because only 39 of them were ever made, 
and they are some of the oldest Ferraris in existence. So imagine stumbling on a 1949 V12 engine 166mm Barchetta. Yes, the car the band Rush sings about. It was left lying in a backyard in Arizona for 50 years, forgotten and left to rust. Luckily, Arizona doesn't have that much rain, and the car was scooped up by a collector for around $1 million in 2007. The Ferrari 166mm engine is a 1,996cc V12 that produces around 140 horsepower. The car is now easily worth $3 million or more. Imagine driving this thing around town, the attention it would get. It is an incredibly rare machine. The MM designation stood for Mille Miglia, the famed 1,000-mile Italian road race won by a Ferrari in May 1948. 1957 Corvette Air Box Racer A couple of car enthusiasts, Bill Connell and Joe Lauman, made a remarkable discovery inside a hog farmer's barn in rural Trenton that they likened to finding a Picasso in your attic. What they found rusting inside that old barn was an extremely rare piece of American automobile history, a 1957 Chevrolet Airbox Corvette. Fewer than 50 of these racing model cars were produced by Chevrolet, and fewer than half of them are known to exist today. But even more surprising, the Airbox car Connell and Lauman found was the prototype or pilot car used to produce all of the subsequent Corvettes in that 1957 line. This car is so rare that even the most dedicated Corvette hobbyists have never seen anything like it. Lotus Esprit Submarine Car It's interesting to see two James Bond cars end up on the list. And the coolest Bond car has to be the Lotus Esprit from The Spy Who Loved Me. Once the filming of the movie was complete, the Esprit was shipped to New York, where it remained in a storage unit for 10 years. Amazingly, it was bought in a Storage War-style blind auction, and the couple who had won it couldn't quite believe what they had on Earth. It's the only functional Lotus Esprit submarine car. In 2013, it sold that auction for 616,000 pounds. The buyer? It's certain that everyone knows who Elon Musk is. Alloy-bodied Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing it's hard to believe that this car was found in a garage and that any of these cars survived at all. Only 29 alloy body Mercedes 300 SL Gull Wings were built, ever. The car was originally bought as a graduation present for a California teenager back in 1955. But the transmission on the car failed and it went into a garage where it stayed nearly forgotten for 20 years. A collector somehow came across the car and spent the next 20 years trying to convince the owner to sell it, in which he finally did. Alloy body 300 SL Gull Wings are notable because they are lighter and better performing than their more common counterparts. They are also about five times more expensive. We told you that we would have a surprise for you at the end, and you might not believe what we found. Somewhere in France on a farm garage, not one car, but 60 rare antique cars were found some hidden under stacks of newspapers and old magazines. The astonishing collection of cars had been on the farm since the 1970s. The people on the farm had no idea what cars were in the old barn, and there was a good reason for that. The cars were collected from the 1950s to the 1970s by entrepreneur Roger Bayon, who dreamt of restoring them to their former glory and displaying them in a museum. However, his plans were ruined as his business struggled, and he had to sell 50 of the vehicles. The rest of the collection has sat dormant since then. However, Mr. Bayon passed away, and his son who inherited the collection also passed away years later. No one knew what amazing cars were hiding inside of the old shed. The collection included a Ferrari once sat in by Jane Fonda. The car sat next to a Maserati A6G200 Berlinetta Grand Sport Frua, one of only three in the world. A 1961 Ferrari 250 GT SWB California Spider was also among the survivors. The Ferrari 250 was used during the filming of Le Falin in 1964, which starred Shirley MacLaine and Jane Fonda. This entire collection of cars was worth $17 million. Now, how's that for a barn find?